Let's review, shall we? Thanks to that master meddler, all of my dons are either in jail or out of commission. Not all. They're still Don Kazar. Or not. Garcia! Ay! Si, senor mayor! You need something? Cut Don Kazar down! Right away, you're muy honorable! Of course, there is one more option. No, Kazar was the only Don left. Wait. You don't mean Don Ringo? Why not? That relic was running rackets when I was in diapers. I wouldn't hire him if he were the last Don on Earth. Which apparently... <coughs> I am. What can you possibly do for me? For one thing, I can show you a way to steal the De La Vega property right out from under them. I'm listening. There is a deed hidden somewhere in the De La Vega mansion. It proves that they stole all of their land. Are you sure about this? Yes, I saw it with my own eyes. Of course, it was many years ago, back in the days when Gustavo De La Vega lived there. <coughs> mm, the deed to the De La Vega estate. I would enjoy legally stealing it and tossing Alejandro and his useless son out on their ears. Will we have a deal? I am to come out of retirement at long last. Yes, Don Ringo. Now go and bring me the deal that will destroy the De La Vegas once and for all. And a motor, my friend here can fix it. My name's Diego. That's Bernardo. He told me. He did? Yes. I read sign language. Can you really make it work? Thank you, thank you, thank you! Told you. Anyway, Miss... Bella. I just transferred into Pueblo Grande City College last... Mayor, are you taking advanced chem? Well, now. I guess that means we'll be seeing a lot of each other. Now it's Bella this, Bella that. I mean, she's all Bernardo can talk about. You'd think he'd never had a girlfriend before. Hey, that's because he hasn't. He's dated lots of girls. No, dear. That was you. And Bernardo never complained when you got all the attention. Frankly, you sound a wee bit jealous. Me? No way! Good. Then you won't mind this. I went out with Bella. Don't wait up, Bernardo. You see what I mean? No consideration for anybody else. Live footage from downtown, where the police are under fire from bank robbers. Oh, oh boy. Uh, listen, I better, uh... Take care of your stuff. Yeah, stuff. Uh, see ya. Attention, crime in progress. 
Attention, crime in progress. Don't tell me. Tell my missing amigo, wherever he is. Well, whoever they were, they knew what they were doing. Why did you say that? They got into the bank through an old boarded up basement. Send out an APB! Set up roadblocks around the city! I'm going to catch those rats or my name is in. Yes! Here! Si, senor mayor! At the bank! Go to the trail of. Oh! As you wish! Right away! Bueno, everybody! Let's go home! Besides, what about the APB? What about the roadblocks? <laughs> Why bother? <laughs> Whoever the robbers were, they're long gone by now. But they wouldn't be if I'd been here in time and Bernardo's having fun. I had a wonderful evening, Bernardo. I have a confession to make. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that I'm falling for you. Be kind to me, okay? Well, Good night. See ya. And how was your evening? Good, because mine stunk. You want to know why? Because there was a big bank robbery downtown. I was nowhere near the place. That's the problem. Neither was I. I mean, if you'd been at your computer like usual, I might have heard about it sooner and gotten there in time to stop it. But no. Because you were out with Beller again. And it's getting in the way of you doing your job. No, as a matter of fact, it is my business. Hey! We're not finished here! You can't do this! Well, uh, I knew about the basement because I robbed that same bank myself 40 years ago. Maybe 50. Uh, but I never forget a meal. Uh, October 26, 1955. Ow! Am I keeping you up past your bedtime? Look, Don Ringo, I let you borrow a few men so you could rob that bank. For old time's sake. Yes, it made me feel young again. <laughs> <coughs> but I am growing old from waiting. How are you going to get that deed out of the De La Vega mansion? With my secret weapon. Huh. Which is what? Some new laser cannon? No, better. Allow me to present my granddaughter, Bella! Oh, Bernardo, they're beautiful! Bernardo! Hi, I'm Maria. You must be Bella. How did you know that? Bernardo's text messages. He's been bragging about you nonstop. <laughs> How sweet. Well, we better hurry or we'll be late for class. So glad to meet you. Gee, that was sincere. Diego, were you eavesdropping? No, I was just passing by when I smelled something rotten. I thought it was a skunk, and it turns out I was right. You men are so predictable. Say what? Your best friend finally meets someone special, and all you can do is badmouth her? Oh, like you didn't see the way she looked at you? You're just lucky there were no sharp objects around. <sighs> That's ridiculous. You want ridiculous? Okay. They've been dating for one week. Yesterday, they had their picture taken together for Christmas cards. You're making this up. You want to see the pictures? No. And you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm not ashamed. I'm just looking out for my friend. You might want to do the same.
the right, perhaps? Zoro, what brings you here? The same as you, I believe. Bellaringo. You're familiar with the name? Unfortunately, yes. It belongs to one of the oldest crime families in town. Could it be Senorita Bella is carrying on the family tradition? Hang on. Just because someone's related to a crook doesn't mean she's a crook, too. Ah, but if you'll notice, those men standing guard work for the mayor. Does that not seem even slightly suspicious? Well, maybe, a little, but you're jumping to conclusions here. I am not. <clears throat> I mean, I'm afraid I must disagree. Psst. We got company. My dear senorita, why are you so upset? I am not upset. I just thought you were different and, and fair and decent. I am all of those things, and you are very loud. I am not loud! Uh, actually, you kind of... Uh, might we continue this conversation some other time? No problem. You two are going down. Wow, she's good! Behind you! Your turn. Okay, we got two choices. One, we tell the mayor that we had Zaro and Scarlet Whip, but we lost them. Or two, we don't mention nothing. Guess it's time to call it a night. As always, it's been a pleasure, Senor. Despite our little disagreement. Well, I still hope you're wrong about Bellaringo. To admit it, but that spoiled brat Diego might be onto something. Zorro. You thought I was Bella, right? I know you like her a lot. Um, actually, Bernardo, I've been meaning to talk to you about Bella. As a friend. I mean, I know this is all very exciting right now, but maybe you should be a little careful. I'm just saying... Bella's bad news! No, I'm not saying that. Exactly. Well, I am. Wake up and smell the Malay, bro. She's playing you. I can't say how I know right now, okay? Just take my word for it. Diego, you're not helping. Oh, like, and you are? Yes, I am. Well, I, I was until you butted in. I'm not butting in. I'm just trying to save my friend from a serious hurt. Whoa. He can't mean that. Nice going, Diego. Now Bernardo's cutting us both out of his life. Bernardo, I was looking for you. What's wrong? Well, whatever it is, I'm here for you. I know it will cheer you up. Let's not wait till Friday. Let's have dinner this evening. That's better. Now you go into class, and I'll be there in a minute. Grandpapa, Bella, change in plans. We make our move tonight. Stop it! You listen to me, you boys. Stop it! Both of you, right now! Lucky your father's out of town or he had something to say about you two acting like you're six again. Ow! Look at you two. You know Diego loves you like a brother. And you know you can always trust Bernardo to do what's right. And whatever problems you got cannot be so awful you can't work them out. Now shake hands. Suit yourself. I'm off to my bingo night. But while I'm gone, you think about what's more important. This little tip, or a friend you've known all your life. Enjoy your date.
we were going to meet in the cafe, but I couldn't wait to see you. And neither could my friends. Besides, I think it's time for you to meet my family. Bernardo, this is my grandpapa, Don Ringo. Well, Bernardo, Bella's told me all about you, you little sap. <laughs> Mira Martinez. Hello! Who's there? Garcia! Die! Yes, Senor Mayor. Never mind. I thought this was you. You really should cut back on your caffeine. Makes you jumpy. See, si, whatever you say, Senor Mayor. Whoever you are, I'm hanging. There it is, I, Don Ringo. We're in the De La Vega mansion. Ah, what about the boy, Bernardo? He will cooperate, or he will suffer, and then cooperate. Oh, poor Bernardo. Now, how about you give us a tour? I said, behave. I should really check out what the mayor is up to. I'm just not in the mood. That looks interesting. I wonder where she's off to in such a hurry. You're sure it's here, Grandpapa? Of course. I have a phonographic memory. Photographic. Whatever. Toss him off the bridge. Rock free and assault? <laughs> you are so going down, girlfriend. I second the motion, senorita. El Zorro! How did you know we were here? Yes. How? Oh. Because we've been following you, haven't we? Uh, yes, we most certainly have. Vamos, amigo! Senorita. Nothing left but the cleanup. Until we meet again. Adios, citizen. Oh, what will we tell Mr. De La Vega when he comes home to this? <laughs> Another wild party? Dad won't buy that story again. I must say it's nice to see you two getting along again. Well, like you said, our friendship's too important. And besides, Bernardo realizes he was wrong about Bella, and I was right. Enough. You've got work to do. I just can't figure out what they thought they'd find. It's a deed of sale. Property de la familia de la Vega. Your dad probably never knew it was here. No, but somebody else did. Mayor Martinez, you've got to help me. My granddaughter is in jail. And whose fault is that, you amputated nincompoop? I understand you've developed an interest in real estate. Oh, yeah, so what of it? Sadly for you, Don Ringo did not have his facts straight. 
The Della Vega deed is in perfect order. Gee, that's a surprise. In fact, the map he drew for you has a small error in the border between your two properties. What sort of error? It turns out that the De La Vegas actually own a bit more land, which includes part of your house. What? That can't be! What if De La Vega finds out? My advice to you, Senor Mayor? Leave well enough alone.